Former President Donald Trump could face another indictment as soon as this week here in Georgia. Prosecutors in Fulton County are wrapping up their investigation into any alleged election interference there by Trump and his allies back in 2020. Nicole Killian is outside of the courthouse in Atlanta with more on what to expect. There's an increased security presence outside the Fulton County Courthouse ahead of a potential charging decision this week. District Attorney Fonnie Willis says she's ready to go. That if someone broke the law in Fulton County, Georgia, um, that I have a duty to prosecute. CBS News has learned several witnesses have been subpoenaed to appear before the grand jury, including former Georgia Republican Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan, who plans to testify Tuesday. The investigation centers on a January 2nd, 2021 phone call by then President Donald Trump to Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, seeking to potentially overturn the 2020 election. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more that we have. On his Truth Social platform Sunday, Trump continued calling it a perfect phone call. We love Iowa. At the Iowa State Fair, where the former president and supporters appeared to troll Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in the air and on the ground, he was peppered with questions about a possible fourth indictment. Yes, we did nothing wrong. We don't ever take yes, a sir. Yes, sir. We don't take Earlier this year, a special purpose grand jury said it believed perjury was committed by several individuals and recommended the DA seek appropriate indictments. And you think there could be multiple indictments? I think there'll be multiple defendants indicted. Michael Moore is a former U.S. attorney and believes Willis could go further with racketeering charges against the former president and his allies. It really allows her to, to talk about, as a prosecutor, everybody's dirty laundry and everybody's dirty conduct and not just the uh, dirty laundry maybe that the former president may uh, have in his hamper right now. If the former president is charged and convicted in Fulton County and he's reelected, he would not be able to pardon himself since this would be a state case rather than a federal one.